what's up my buddy it's moist Andy here and it's about 3 in the morning today what we got here is just a little bit of dinner I've been sorting packages all night and I figured I need me some steak some potatoes and some Swiss chard so it's cold let's just dig into this steak right here mm-hmm steak is about my most critical source of uh, cholesterols and animal fats and proteins even though I am mostly a pescatarian I enjoy to have a steak from time to time you know there's there's nothing wrong with a big old slab of this proteinaceous flesh mm-hmm You just cook it, medium rare in the oven, on the broiler for 15 minutes each side, or something like that. Mmm. And let's get in a Swiss chard. Ha ha ha. Very nice source of minerals. You don't want to have too much of this green veggies. Despite what all the vegans tell you, a little bit too much, it's gonna give you too many oxalates, and with kidney stones, too much fiber, you fart all the time. Just a little bit. This is the portion you need right here. Mmm. Fried out with garlic, parsley, and butter. Mm-mm. -mm. This is an all-American dish, you know. Just high-quality ingredients gotta have some variety in your diet otherwise you end up with deficiencies and all sorts of shit and you get diseases and you don't want to end up with all that you don't want to mess around with that man potatoes are nice in moderation it's actually a pretty nutritious food mm -hmm. I've been sorting boxes all night, you gotta stay hydrated, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Gotta have the gallon jug. BPA free. You go to, what's it called, enviroproducts.com, get you one of these jugs. Take it everywhere with you and chug water anywhere you want to just pour it down your stomach like this. So you know what I mean, we're just, we're just hanging in there, working all the time. I don't got time to take an off day, I came in here for extra work because, you know, at my other job, they give me a day off from time to time, schedule me not to work, and I just gotta work at this job tonight, you know? They could always use some help. They actually call me every Monday and Tuesday because they got a low head count. It takes forever to sort those boxes, man. I'm here until like 6.30 in the morning every night. They gotta hire more people at Amazon, man. It's pissing me off. Why is it, why is it so like... I mean, Christmas time they had like... What, like 75 people working here? Now we got just... Just under 60. It's, it's kind of a drag. Mm-hmm. But you know what? We'll get about five, six trailers in every night. Sort 55, 60,000 packages, depends on the day of the week. People order things from Amazon at different days of the week. People like to have a lot of stuff for the weekend. You know, you get all set up with that. It's Monday night, Monday and the volume is starting to pick up, you know, people are ordering things again. On Saturday night, that's the slowest night. I was diverting off the belt, you know, putting the boxes on the carts for the pickers and the stores to sort them onto the shelves and the designated uh, staging areas. And It's actually a pretty simple job. 
compared to UPS, you know, they never hired me actually, but from what I saw, it was really complicated. You got like all these conveyors all over the place, distributing everything to like the actual trucks. They don't put the things in the vans out here until the, the morning pick shift comes and you know, they have multiple shifts taking care of the sort. The pre-shift, I used to do the pre-shift for a while. I got sick of it because it was just too slow. I need a fast pace, just working all the time job, you know what I mean? Switch over to overnight shift. Man, I'm glad I did. Getting like over 36 hours a week, pretty much. Can't go past 40 for some weird reason. Maybe it's because I'm part time or whatever the fuck. But yeah, let's get back into the steak. Look at this steak, man. It's cold, but it still tastes delicious. If you don't get enough cholesterols in your diet, you end up with man boobs and tits and shit. If you eat a lot of soy, the same thing happens. It's got like chemicals that mimic estrogen. You don't want to mess around with that if you're a guy. You want to have big, low hangers just dangling around when you walk. And you want to have some muscle mass. Kind of an important thing for a job like this. Very physical. So what you do is you eat the steak. It's got all the creatine you need in the steak, man. You don't even barely need to go to creatine monohydrate. I mean, it's good for the right time in the right place. Like power lifting and shit. But, man, the steak is just good enough for me, man. You gotta eat kind of like, sort of a primitive diet because that's just what we evolved to eat. We didn't evolve to eat all kinds of dumbass processed foods and stuff. Just keep it simple like this. This is what you need to do. Hmm. I hope y'all can uh, be inspired to just change it up a bit. If you're eating the same things all the time, you end up with deficiencies. You get all kinds of bowel disorders and end up with inflammatory bullshit. You don't want to have arthritis at such an early age. So you gotta switch it up. You gotta always have different things. Damn, it's cold as shit in here. Why'd I put this? Put it on like freezing cold. Oh. Now we turn the heater on. That's why I keep my car on. <clears throat> Just to get some air circulation. The air sits in this car for too long. It gets kind of stale smelling in here. This old ass Jeep Cher Cherokee. It's older than I am. You know? got a whole bunch of miles on it. A whole lot of miles. I just don't mess around, you know? I got I got everything I need in here, man. I could live out of this thing. Uh, jumpers, a uh, tire jack, you know, you bolt ranch over there. And yeah, that's basically it. Ah. show you too but I hope you uh, enjoy watching me like have a little bit of dinner mmm it's so nice to just fry up some greens and some butter and nice fresh herbs butter is a very important source of cholesterol as well all kinds of dairy you want to have a lot of cheeses in your diet Stanky cheese, rich cheeses, cheese with a lot of fat. 
the fat's not bad for you unless it's trans fat. Saturated fat is what the caveman was eating, man. You just don't want to mess around with the, the new age hippie bullshit diets. That stuff will kill you. Put you in a cemetery. It's no good at all. Steak is one of the most digestible foods you can eat. Other than raw eggs. I drank like three raw eggs today. It's for a quick shot of protein and nice cholesterol. And despite what the Vascular Institute, whatever heart disease association tells you, the cholesterol is not going to give you a heart attack. As long as your liver is able to process the, the LDL into something more usable by your cells. The reason why vegans end up with mental retardation and lethargy and all sorts of developmental disorders, their children have cleft lips, they got asthma, you, you know, it's just kind of backwards, it's ass backwards how people think they can just eat some kind of weird ass new diet these days and force it on their kids, that's torture. That's like a human rights epidemic. We shouldn't allow this in this country to have all these hippie liberals fucking with the minds of the young, the little impressionable kids, you know, stuffing too many vegetables down their gullet. That's sickening, despicable. Give your kid a steak, a piece of steak like this. I guarantee they're gonna grow to be very strong. Sort a lot of boxes for Amazon. Oh yeah. Yeah man, without college success, my college told me to fuck off apparently, allegedly. This is what you end up having to do is sort boxes. It's just a harsh reality of life. My other job, I suck the shelves and I'm a custodian in a pet store. This is just what I should be doing anyways. People like me don't deserve to live with luxuries. That's just not the reality of things, man. I'm not gonna continue to live in my own little fantasy world where I think like, medicine is my future and digital imaging and all the CT scan, MRI, X-ray. That's not my, uh, my silver lining. Even though I didn't really fail any classes, I was getting like A's and B's. They kicked me out over some dumb, stupid bullshit that I had no control over. You know, they didn't even train me enough, so like I didn't know the policies of particular hospitals they put me into. And ended up making a dumbass mistake, which wasn't my fault and they kicked me out. See the video in the link to the description for that. Anyways, I'm gonna continue to enjoy this com complete meal. Very simple, nice, nice greens, potatoes, and steak. And we go back to that fucking place and sort your mail effortlessly all night long and make the money. Have a good night while I'm at it. Have some fun. Every night I come out here, I party my ass off. Just sorting these boxes, you know? With that, this has been Moist Andy. I hope you enjoy some of this content. Give me some feedback in the comments and subscribe if you are new. And thanks and bye-bye.